Solving special systems. Our objective is to solve special systems of linear equations in two variables, as well as classify systems of linear equations and determine the number of solutions. Why learn this? Linear systems can be used to analyze business growth. Systems with at least one solution are called consistent. A system that has no solution is an inconsistent system. Let's start by looking at systems with no solution. There are two methods we can use. We can either compare slopes and y-intercepts, or we can solve the system algebraically. To use method 1, we want to make sure both equations are in slope-intercept form. Our first one is in slope-intercept form, so let's just rewrite that. Now let's look at the second equation. We need to move this negative x to the other side. So we have y equals x plus 2. Notice how the y-intercepts are different and the slopes are the same. This means that the two lines are parallel and they are never going to intersect. Therefore, no solution, because your solution comes from when the two lines intersect. What about solving the system algebraically? We can use substitution in this case, since we have y by itself, so we can substitute y in for the y in the other equation. So that would read negative x plus the quantity x minus 1 equals 2. When we combine like terms, our x's cancel each other out, leaving negative 1 equals 2. This doesn't work. It's a contradiction. So therefore, no solution. Try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, both method 1 and method 2 will be seen below. So the slopes are the same, but there's different y-intercept. And when we use al the algebraic method, we end up with 5 attempting to equal 1, which is not possible. So no solution. If two linear equations in a system have the same graph, there are infinitely many solutions because every point on the line represents a solution of both equations. Caution. 0 equals 0 is a true statement. It does not mean the system has 0 solutions or no solution. So let's look at systems with infinitely many solutions. Once again, we have two methods. We can compare slopes and y-intercepts, or we can solve the system algebraically. So let's get them into slope-intercept form. Our first one is all set and ready for us. So y equals 2x plus 1. And for our next one, we've got a couple steps here. We're going to move the 2x to the other side and the 1 to the other side but that leaves us with negative y equals negative 2x minus 1. y is not entirely by itself, so we've got one more step here. Multiply by negative 1. So y equals 2x plus 1. The two lines are the exact same graph, meaning if you were to graph them, one line would sit right on top of the other. So there's infinitely many solutions. Well, what if we decided to solve the system algebraically? For the purpose of this video, we're going to use the elimination method as good practice. So we need to line up our x's and our y's. So in this case, our first equation is going to read negative 2x plus y equals 1. And our second one will be 2x minus y equals negative 1. Well, if we add vertically, we end up with 0 equals 0. So, infinitely many solutions. Consistent systems can either be independent or dependent. 
Because remember, a consistent system just means that it has at least one solution. An independent system has exactly one solution. The graph of an independent system consists of two intersecting lines. A dependent system has infinitely many solutions. The graph of a dependent system consists of two coincident lines or coinciding lines. Let's look at it using graphs and a table. So classification of systems of linear equations. Consistent and independent. Consistent, once again, just means that there is at least one solution. So independent means there's exactly one solution. Dependent means the lines are sitting right on top of each other. So there's infinitely many. And inconsistent means there are no solutions. So the lines would have to be parallel for there to be no solution. Let's look at classifying systems of linear equations. So we're going to classify each system and then give the number of solutions. I might suggest solving for y in both of these and just looking at your slopes. All right, so if we look at our first equation, we would have y equals, and then that would be 1 half x plus 1. All we did was divide by 2 on both sides of the equation. And then for this next one, we're going to simply move the 1 half x to the other side. So y equals 1 half x plus 1. Well, there's at least one solution, but there are infinitely many solutions, so therefore it is consistent and dependent. Try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, the answer will be below. Alright, so we want to distribute the 2 across, which leaves you with y equals 2x minus 2 for the first equation, and the second one can remain the same. Notice how you have different slopes and different y-intercepts. Therefore, it's consistent and independent. Let's look at a business application. The sales manager at Comics Now is comparing its sales with the sales of its competitor, Dynamo Comics. If the sales pattern continues, will the sales for Comics Now ever equal the sales for Dynamo Comics? Let's explain. All right, so let's start by writing an equation for both Comics Now and Dynamo Comics. We've got Comics Now is going to be y equals, let's look at our slope, and that's going to be 40x and plus 130, and then... Dynamo Comics is going to be y equals, let's look at our change, and that will also be 40x, however that one starts at 180. Well, if we look at our graphs, both are going to be parallel, so they're never going to intersect, so therefore there's no solution. This means that the two companies will never be equal. And that ends our video lesson on solving special systems.